Mr. Rishav? Yes, hi, Josh Mansar. Good morning. Very, very good morning. Very good. Can I introduce you for my viewers? Yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Hello, my dear viewers. This is Mr. Rishav. Uh, he is from Ranchi. And uh, I, I, I came to know about him just two years back. <clears throat> At that time, he was a plus one student. And uh, he has passed plus one and plus two. And I don't know what is he doing now at present. I think he has joined for degree. Am I right? Yes, 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 right. Can you tell <coughs> me what, what degree are you studying? Yeah, I am studying commerce right now. I'm in graduation first year. Okay, I started just recently. I started my first year and I'm doing my graduation. Very good. And uh, I cannot forget another person, Mr. Ashutosh, because... <laughs> So Mr. Gustav was introduced by uh, Mr. Ashutosh. He is also from Kanpur. Yeah, right. Mr. Ashutosh and uh, Rishav, uh, you people are not ordinary people. You are extraordinary because... Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> because I have noticed that uh, you are uh, using your creativity. And I, I learned that, Mr. Rishav, you have been making several podcasts right from two or three years back. Yeah, I have yeah, right. And you have opened one YouTube channel also. Can you tell me the name of your YouTube channel? Yeah, my YouTube channel name is Mr. Rishav Talks. Okay, in the Joe Smart uh, description, you will get the link and as well as the name. It is Mr. Rishav Talks. So my video is basically on English, communication skills, self-improvement, motivation, spirituality, goal setting. Okay, I talk on everything. Stock market, financial education, everything. Very good. At this age, uh, you have become a very good YouTuber and a public speaker also because I have listened to several public speeches made by you. So I appreciate you. At this age, you have become uh, a smart person and always you are talking about good subjects only. That also I have noticed. I must appreciate you again and again. And now, Thank you. Uh, can you tell me what subject are you going to talk today? And today I would like to talk about Bhagavad Gita because right now in my hand I am having a very great book. It is called the Bhagavad Gita. Okay, mm -hmm. so I would I would be going to talk about this, like what is the book all about, why we should read it, and how it is important in our day-to-day -day life. And as a student, as a businessman, as a job holder, how this book can help us. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Fantastic. Rishav, always you speak a fantastic, good English. Uh, before coming to the subject, uh, can I ask you? How did you develop this fluency and clarity in English? So, sir, one thing just I would like to tell you. Okay, if you want to become a good speaker, if you want to improve your communication skills, you want to become a good in Hindi or in any language, you want to become a good web designer, you want to become a good horse rider, you want to become a good app developer, whatever you want to do in life, one thing is fundamental always. That is the root. Okay, that is practice. Anything you are doing, for example, right now you are making videos. Okay, you are able to make good videos. You can speak good. Why? Because one day you have tried it and continuously, continuously have done it. That's why you are able to make a good videos. Just remember that day, the that first day you started. You were not having that much good fluency, little bit fear. I was also having. But by doing it again and again and again and again, you became good in it. The so same thing is communication skills and English. Okay, just keep on doing it, keep on practicing, keep on practicing, keep on practicing. One day the time will come with your good practice, with your knowledge, with your consistency and with your good environment. Okay, you will become a good speaker. Just have a practice, work on your knowledge, make a good environment. You will become a good speaker. Yes, sir. Excellent. Excellent, Mr. Rishav. Uh, I hope your advice will be useful for the listeners. and. Uh, those who are interested to develop their English. This, yes. uh, this, is a very good, uh, this is a very good piece of advice. Thank you. And uh, now we can come to the subject. You can talk about Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. So, sir, like if you are, are having any questions, you can tell me. And after that, I would be answering like anything. Okay. Uh, what is the reason for selecting these kinds of philosophical and religious subjects in your talks? Okay, fine. So, sir, uh, you said what is the reason behind philosophical and religious? You used two words. 
Okay. Yes. So let, let me tell you because right now I am having the book in my hand okay, and I have been reading it from one year and continuously I have been implementing, I have been practicing the things. Let, let me tell you, I would not consider it as a religious book, nothing to do with Hinduism. Yeah, it is a religious book, but moreover, it is a FAQ book. Do you know what is FAQ? FAQ is frequently asked question. Yes. In our day to day life, we we'll ask a lot of questions. How to be happy, how to be satisfied, how to earn money, how to be successful, how can I live a happy life, how to control mind, how to find goals in life. Everything is mentioned in this book. So I would consider it as a FAQ book, as you said, philosophical book also, management book. You want to learn about management, you want to learn about leadership quality, Bhagavad Gita is the best book. I would <clears> consider <throat> that book is it as a self-help book, motivational book, leadership book. It is a manual of life. What is the meaning of manual of life? Okay, for example, you are buying anything. Okay, you get a manual. For example, we are using this phone. We get a manual of this phone. That do not drop the phone in water. If you drop the phone in water, the phone will not work. Or do not throw the battery. Or use only for two hours. So there is a certain manual that use this charger. Use Type C charger. Okay, so every details are given. Camera is of this megapixel. When you do this, this will happen. Everything is given in the paper how to use, how not to use, and we use accordingly for the better functioning. Same thing, we people are born. So have anyone taught us how to live the life, how to become successful, how to become happy? No one has taught us anything. The book, Bhagavad Gita, is a manual of life. How you get the manual of phone, this is the manual of life, where you will get to learn about how to live the life, how to lead a happy life, how to control the mind, what are the different things, leadership quality, Everything is in their book. Okay. So I would say this question, like one more thing, just I would like to tell you are that why I selected this book. Okay. So I am telling students, especially teenagers, see the book is for all age group of people. Either he is in 10th class, 12th class, graduation, master's, PhD, doing job, doing business, housewife, doctor, lawyer, chartered accountant, teacher, student, pilot, farmer. Businessman, singer, engineer, housewife. I think I completed most of the perspective. Everyone should read. Because the real life problem what we get, no one is there to give the solution. But the book is there to give the solution. You have to read something. So especially, I am a very curious guy. I want to learn all the things. Means it is said that I am very interested to know about all the things. English, communication skills, stock market, cryptocurrency, financial education, books, how to become rich, how to manage these, these studies, everything I would like to explore. YouTube channel, podcast, talking with people, having fun, okay, studying. I am a curious in every field that will improve my knowledge. Then I got to know about the book, which is the Bhagavad Gita. Then I started reading it. So it was helpful for me. Then I started reading it, understanding it, implementing it. It was helpful for me. So why I read this book? Because it 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 gives a kind of uh, it uh, uh, the knowledge. It gives me. I am having the curiosity. It is like uh, whatever curiosity I am having. So the book is dissolving my curiosity. Okay, and as well as for my better future, so that I can improve myself. I can become successful. I can help people. I am reading the book. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Uh, excellent, Mr. Uh, Rishav. Uh, you narrated uh, the reason why you have selected this book. From yeah. your narration, I understood that uh, in this book, uh, we will get FAQs, frequently asked questions uh, about yeah. our real life. And this yeah, is right. this book is just like a manual of our life. Right. So sir. these points uh, said by you are excellent points. I appreciate you for talking about this subject at this age because you are you are in your tender age but but i am <clears throat> i am 66 years old but i think you are below 20 years old from you i am learning more things about life therefore i help me um, appreciating you so i appreciate yeah. hundred times Vishal. thank you sir uh, one thing just i would like to say See, sir, I think age is just an illusion. It is just a number. Why yes. I would like to say, because I have seen a lot of young guys that are doing business, they are doing a lot of things in their life. They are successful in their 20s also. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
so there is age is just a number in any age you can do anything one very good example i am i am giving you okay for example at the age of 70 i think you are even not 70 you are going to be 70 what yes. most people do at the age of 60 they retire right we use the word retire are you retire okay but they should not retire they should retry because there is no such kind of age let me give example because the book author is is prabhu path okay you can see his picture okay okay which is sila prabhu path i am telling something about him he is a great personality okay why i am telling because he is the author of the book okay the bhagavad gita because i am having bhagavad gita as it is so the author is prabhu path okay sila prabhu path so what is the thing i learned at the age of 70 i think even older than you at the age of 70 he chose the best country which is america the best city in the country which is new york and at the age of 70 he took 1 dollar only i think that time the rate was 40 rupees he took 40 rupees from india and only he took one book which is bhagavad gita and went to america to preach people about hinduism about bhagavad gita to improve the life so at the age of 70 where a lot of people retire retire they say oh my right now my age is 70 now what i can do but prabhu pad ji said that i will retry again so he retried and he went to america new york city and he trained everyone about bhagavad gita and he founded a very good community called iskon which is international society for krishna consciousness and in the world anywhere you go <coughs> it can be india it can be pakistan it can be america canada australia nepal africa any country you choose there is definitely a skon temple and you will find lot of people monks chanting hare krishna hare ram because of prabhu pad okay so there is no such kind of age at small age also lot of people can do anything at higher age also a lot of people can do anything one more example i am having the founder of kfc mm. at the age of 65 he started his own business right now kfc is everywhere okay so we can't restrict ourselves because of age right now sir your age might be as you said you are 60 something so what lot of people do they sleep but what you are doing you are making videos you are motivating young people you are taking podcast you are making videos you are helping people okay so you are also kind of great motivation so age is just a number because i think right now my age is 18 and so we have a huge gap difference okay but still we are communicating with each other we are learning from each other i am learning from you you are learning from me this is a kind of new new era okay what is happening yes sir okay so uh, do you want to uh, say something more about uh, bhagavad gita and uh, uh, i wish to ask you can you say briefly the crux crux means the essence of bhagavad gita can you tell it briefly yeah briefly if i say about bhagavad gita see there are okay i'm just summarizing about the book okay what is there in this book so the bhagavad gita has is is completely having 18 chapters 18 chapters 700 shlokas and as you said it is a religious book let me tell you one thing sir okay because lot of people in india they don't read bhagavad gita because they are thinking it is a religious book okay and what most of the people doing the bhagavad gita they are taking one red cloth they are wrapping it up completely and they are keeping it in the temple yes. and morning and eve, eve, evening they are doing this they are doing pranam mm-hmm. okay they are doing they are worshiping bhagavad gita it is very good you are worshiping gita it's very good but once you open the book once you read the book okay because always you will worship it is good but until you don't open it you don't read it you will not get here okay so if worshiping bhagavad gita is giving you lot of energy lot of power you think when you read it how much powerful and strong the book will make you okay so my main thing is there so there are, there are approximately 700 shlokas in whole 700 shlokas no hinduism islamic buddhism christianity jainism parsi this word are not used and these things are not described in whole book the book is completely based on self improvement okay see for example there is one great book sir okay the book name is seven habits of highly effective people yes the author of the book is an american so when he came to india i think he came to hyderabad in south when he came to hyderabad he said that all the seven habit like he 
wrote a book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. In that, he mentioned seven habits, how to improve himself. So he said there that all the seven habits I have taken from the book Bhagavad Gita, all the seven habits. But in India, people are mad in foreigner, foreigner order, but they don't read. They are forgetting their own order. They are forgetting their own book. Many satto ke satto habit I have taken from the book, the Bhagavad Gita. So this is the power of our own religion, our own book and our own order. And if I give some essence of the book, okay, there are many things to learn. Okay, for example, for example, if I say, for example, in the starting of Bhagavad Gita, what is happening? There is two main characters, which is Arjun and which is the Krishna. So Arjun is a student and Krishna is a kind of teacher. So Arjun is saying, hey, Krishna, I am unable to fight the battle. Okay, my mind is reeling. I can't control my mind. I can't control the wind, but I can't control the mind. My, I can feel my limbs. I am having goosebumps. In Hindi, we say wrong. I am getting goosebumps. I can't fight. Okay. So some, it is happening in our life also. So Arjun, how Arjun is having his own battle. We people like lawyer, chartered accountant, doctors, teachers, student, pilot, farmer, businessman, singer, engineer, housewife, even me, Rishav. You, Joe Swan, sir, everyone is having our own battle. And we have to fight our own battle. So Arjun is saying to Krishna, Hey Krishna, I will not fight. Then Krishna is giving him the solution of the problem. Arjun is asking, Krishna is solving. Arjun is asking, Krishna is solving. And Arjun is asking a lot of problem. I am unable to control my mind. What will I do? How will I learn leadership quality? What is the specification of a spiritual man? How goal setting is important in my life? What is the difference between my body and the soul? Lot of question Krishna, Arjun is asking, Krishna is replying. Arjun is asking, Krishna is replying. Okay. So this is a kind of glimpse of the Gita that it is based on questions and answer in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. So yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, you you narrated it in an excellent manner. And uh, Rishav... Just I gave the glimpse of what is there inside. Yes, yes, yes. So, so it will help us how to face our life in this world. And if we learn everything, we will become uh, courageous to face this real life in this world. Another right. thing, we will be able to face death also. If we learn everything. That is what I have understood from your explanation. Yes. Great. So is there any other points you want to share about Bhagavad Gita? Yeah, like some of the lessons I would like to give from the Bhagavad Gita. My most important learnings what I have got from Bhagavad Gita. Okay. So in chapter 2, Krishna explains a very good thing. Mm. Because see, I will explain only very important things. For example, we all face tough times in life. Mm. Those monsters, do you face tough, tough time in life? Yes, many times. Many times. We also face, as a human, we face. Mm. So Lord Krishna is giving a very good answer. What Krishna is saying, that tough time will come and go. Yes. Tough, how winter will come and winter will go. So yes. do winter remains whole year? No. Yes. Do summer remain whole year? No. Do rainy season remain 365 days? No. Yes. Rainy season comes and go. Winter comes and go. Okay. Same way, in our life, the problem is temporary. Temporary yes. in nature. Okay will come and go, will come and go, will come and go. The tough time will come and go. He's saying, Arjun, learn to tolerate it. Mm -hmm. Learn how to tolerate it. You have to be mentally strong. Mm -hmm. There is two kinds of people in the world. Mm -hmm. One is strongly mental. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Strongly mental. He's mental. He's mad. He's strongly mental. Second is mentally strong. We yes. don't have to become strongly mental. We have to become mentally strong. Mm -hmm. okay, as I said, we don't have to Retire, we have to retry. Okay, same, same thing Krishna is saying, Arjun, don't cry, try. Yes. Okay, because if you cry, you will not get anything. But when you try, there is a possibility, 50% you can get, 50% you can't get. Failure result is not in your hand, but action is in your hand. Okay, yes. so Krishna is saying, okay, don't be a warrior, a person who worries always, warrior, always worrying, worrying, worrying. Be a warrior. Okay. Understand, warrior, a person fights. Okay, so one uh, like for example, Krishna is saying that don't do chinta, do chintan. 
the meaning is chinta means thinking something about in the negative way think in a positive way okay, so that is called chinta and chintan for, for example one very important thing is there okay there is two things okay one is entertainment second is edutainment so krishna is saying if you want to grow in life okay don't always do entertainment entertainment is maja enjoying always enjoying in life drinking alcohol having sex always enjoying in life that is called entertainment but edutainment means learning something plus enjoying okay so krishna is saying that convert your tough time into action okay convert your adversity into opportunity don't be strongly mental be mentally strong don't cry try okay so these are the learnings to learning there are many more things krishna is talking about goal setting how to become a when you want to become successful have goal setting in life how to develop focus in life because only 8 to 10% people in the world are having goals in life how to deal with tough time how to make a choices mm-hmm. for example you have lot of choices in life how to make a right choice okay krishna says this thing that accept the favorable reject the unfavorable then krishna one story i would like to tell govind sir okay after that you will this from this story you will learn lot of things about goal setting and focus okay the story one day there was a guru the mm. guru name was dronachar mm. dronachar took all the students which was pandavas and kauravas in a field in a mm. park then dronachar said that today i will take your test i have taught you lot of things in life from one year i am teaching you today i will take your test if friends said ji guru ji take my test then he, he took him in a park there was a mango tree very beautiful mango tree with lot of mangoes mm. so he placed the wooden bird in the mango tree mm. a wooden bird mm. then he said drona chai the guruji said that i will call one by one each other and you have to aim into the bird eyes with bow and arrow you have to bow and arrow you have to aim into the bird eye okay mm. then he started calling each student one by one mm. he called the first student the duryodhan come here take up the bow and arrow and aim into the bird eye you have to mm. aim into the bird eye then he said okay guru ji i would aim into the bird eye tell me what are the things you can see he said guru ji i can see trees i can see the bird i can see the eye of the bird i can see the sky mm. he said okay good 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 please sit down sit back and relax i will call you afterward he called second person okay called nakul nakul come here take bow and arrow aim into the bird eye tell me what are the things you can see Mm-hmm. nakul is saying guruji i can see the bird i can see the feather i can see the eyes i can see the environment wow what a beautiful environment mm-hmm. he said wow good nakul please sit back i will call you afterwards mm-hmm. he call one more person sadev sadev come here he also said guruji i can see the wow what a beautiful sky what a beautiful tree i can see the bird i can see the eye of the bird i can see the eyebrow of the bird i can see the color of the bird he said good sit down i will call you he called one next person is not allowing an anyone to aim only is saying aim but don't hit when i will tell then you hit then he called bheem he said bheem tell me what you can see he said i can see lot of mangoes mm. because he was hungry for mango so mm. whatever you are hungry for you will see the same at then he called arjun arjun he said arjun come here he said yes guru ji said to thau banandhanus please aim in the bird eye don't hit only aim into the bird eye mm. said yes guru ji i aimed tell me what are the things you can see arjun said guruji only i can see the eye of the bird mm. he said arjun tell me one more time i am asking you what more things you can see rather than eyes of the bird he said guruji only i can see the eye of the bird mm. guruji asked the third time tell mm. me what more things you can see mm. but guruji i can only see the eye of the bird mm-hmm. guruji asked four time fourth time mm. that arjun i am your guru mm. i am standing just beside of you can you see me Mm. that sorry guruji today i am also unable to see you only i can see the bird of the eye mm. then he said hit just mm. hit arjun then arjun left left the bow and arrow and it went directly into the bird eye thak yes yes okay and mm. that he won the thing mm. so if you want to make the goal you have to make one goal eye of the bird mm. same thing is written in the book called the one thing you have to make one thing then only will become successful mm. if a person is running behind multiple rabbits mm-hmm. he is he is he will not catch any rabbit there is five rabbit a person is running behind all the five five rabbit how much rabbit he will catch mm-hmm. he will never catch any rabbit this also this also this also he will miss all the rabbit 
first catch one rabbit then focus on second and third so krishna is saying this thing so this is my second learning my third learning very important i would like to give after that i would like to end the thing okay my third learning is very popular shloka of bhagavad gita mm-hmm. and as well as very misunderstood shloka of bhagavad gita why i am saying popular why misunderstood what krishna is saying krishna is saying that work on your karm karm pe dhyan do work on your work the fo- sorry focus on your work not on the result come on focus on the work not on the result same thing if i convert it to, into a different way that focus on the roots not on the fruit when you improve the root fruits will automatically improve fruits is born to come when you improve the the roots so what krishna is saying that's why it is popular why misunderstood i am telling you why misunderstood for example if i will tell a person who is doing job i will tell him you do job but i will not pay you salary focus on your work don't focus on result i will not give you salary will he work he will not work if i will tell a student study but you will not get a job or study will not become a better person will he study no he will never study so the main thing is what krishna want to say why that's why it is misunderstood focus on the work not on the result then why will i do job why will i do business why will i study if i will not get result i will not do job why will not study but the meaning is krishna is saying there is two thing work what do you want jos mohan sir work with worry or work without worry without worry work without worry krishna want to say same thing when you focus on the result i will win oh my god i will win sometimes you think oh my god i will lose i can't clear this examination i will fail in life you become demotivated your productivity become low krishna is saying the same thing that you should keep the result in mind but don't worry about the result so two things are there work with worry work without worry okay so we have to choose without worry then only we will improve ourselves to focus on the work not on the the result so same thing i would like to tell one thing like one more thing related to this people ask me rishab how you improve how you speak these many good things i think i conduct meeting i make youtube channel people comment and ask me rishab how you know these many things how you speak these many things how you are speaking a good content in a good word we say content i give them a simple answer improve your intent content will automatically improve Yes, yes. What is the meaning of intent? Intent is here knowledge, listening, intent yes. taking garbage in garbage out. If I would be consuming garbage, I would be speaking garbage. So when I improved my content, my intent automatically improved. Yes. Same thing. Focus on roots. Roots will automatically improve. Focus on intent. Content will automatically improve. Focus on emotion. Devotion will automatically improve. Focus on belief. Behavior will automatically improve. Yes. focus on mindset skill set automatically will be improved focus on perception action would be automatically improved so right now we need to redevelop reorient reinvent reform refresh rethink about all these things whatever i have said yes govin sir this is sorry jos man sir this is my point of view wow fantastic you have delivered a fantastic speech just a minute okay you said several points and uh, striking points also you said that we have to concentrate on roots then fruit, we will get very good fruits and we have to concentrate on intent then our content will become like super like that you have said many other yeah. points uh, i am unable to rec- <laughs> recollect and reproduce it all points uh, you said uh, many other good points i appreciate you and uh, i i am i wonder about uh, you because you have at this age you have collected all this knowledge that is uh, super that is fantastic and elastic and bombastic also i appreciate <laughs> you thank you sir thank you so much so i think we will meet uh, in the next video uh, till that, till that time uh, we can say bye yeah thank you sir have a good bye and hari krishna to everyone please go and buy the book and read it if you don't have time to read you can watch the videos and even i have started a